Make it stop! Make the stupid stop! Why did I decide to do this series? <laughs>
traditional marriage, per your definition, whatever that happens to be. Assuming you mean between a man and a woman. Allowing gay people to marry does not prevent straight people from getting married. In fact, I fail to see how it affects straight people like me in any way at all. Because of its link to child welfare. Oh, this old chestnut. Then tell me, if it's all about the children, why do you let people who never plan on having children get married? Why do you allow people who can't have children to get married? Oh, not to mention the fact that there's never been a single study that shows anything other than LGBT couples being perfectly capable, if not more so, of raising perfectly content, well-adapted children. See links below. We could get government out of the bedroom if it weren't for the fact that a certain type of act between a man and a woman creates new life and children need moms and dads. And there you have it, folks. We would keep the government out of your bedrooms, except we want people making babies. Can you think of any other way to put what he just phrased? It's not as if sex can't be, you know, an intimate way for two people to express their love and affection for each other. And, but no, it's about babies. It's all about babies. As I said before, what about the people who can't have babies? Nothing? You've got nothing? That's what I thought. The New York Times recently recognized Anderson and other movement leaders like Caitlin Seary, who directs the Love and Fidelity Network on college campuses. Because, of course, gay people are completely incapable of demonstrating love and fidelity. What? We're trying to help students prepare themselves for healthy marriages so that they will then raise healthy families because healthy families are the foundation of our society. Again, it's all about the babies. Tell me, what about allowing gay people to marry prevents you from continuing on with the same work you're doing? No one's saying you have to include gay people in this conversation that you're having with these people you're already talking to. But as I said before, there's also been no study that says that gay people and gay couples cannot raise perfectly sound, functional human beings. What Siri Anderson and other young leaders have in common a willingness to face fierce opposition. And kudos to them, of a sort. I mean, we need people like them to present incredibly bad arguments to show just how poor any opposition to gay marriage actually is. And think outside the box about what is possible. More like inside the book. What they're up against a Supreme Court that may soon decide in favor of gay marriage in a country where the majority believe that its legalization is inevitable. And good for the U.S. However, as we'll see, there's a major caveat coming. And guess what's involved? Yep. But polls also show that almost half of all Americans believe that homosexual behavior is a sin. Those with such deeply held beliefs will no doubt welcome a movement that would champion their cause and provide profound arguments in favor of one of life's most sacred institutions. There you have it. It all comes back to this. Here's the thing. The government, by definition, doesn't care about this. It can't recognize this. It's in the First Amendment of the United States Constitution. Also, who's actually saying that a particular church must recognize, or in other words, perform, ceremonies that they don't want to perform? Nobody. The government recognizes marriage. 
the government says, hey, you're a church, you want to perform marriages, you can go ahead and perform marriages. Here's your certificate in order to be able to issue marriage licenses. Oh, but other people can also issue marriages as well, and they can issue them to anyone they want. You don't want to issue to a gay couple? You don't have to. These people here will gladly take that gay couple's money and marry them. And the government will also recognize that they are married and are therefore entitled to the certain privileges that being married involves. Such as, as I said before, marriage visitation, uh, t certain tax benefits, etc., etc., etc. No one is trying to take away your so-called traditional marriage. What you're trying to do is prevent people from having those same privileges. That's all it comes down to. To be perfectly clear, I know that there are Christians who don't believe that this is the rule of the government and are fully in support of gay marriage and don't think that this is against gay marriage. That's fine. I appreciate those people. You people are great people. But arguments from people like this who put out videos like that just get under my skin. They're such poorly thought out arguments that it's really hard for me to come up with words to describe my feelings toward these people. Other than, I'm sorry to say this, bigots. Seriously, what other word applies? I don't like using that word, but it's the only one I can think of. Anyway, I will try to get to Spirit Science number four by the end of the week. In the meantime, peace and long life, stay shiny, and try to be happy and good to everybody. Cheers.